Former Howard Government Minister Peter Reith has been farewelled at a state memorial service in Melbourne. John Howard joined Mr Reith's family and friends, paying tribute to the former deputy leader of the Liberal Party and describing him as the ultimate all-rounder. Peter Reith was known as a conservative warrior, an industrial relations minister who rose to national prominence when he took on the maritime unions in the 1988 Patrick's Wharf dispute. His family knew a different man. To the MUA, he was a picture on a dartboard. To his family, he was a loving father, brother, husband and Uncle Pete. But to us, he was just Dad. He was loving, funny, incredibly patient and with four sons, an expert at dispute resolution. John Howard used a cricketing analogy to describe the Liberal Party's former deputy leader. I draw on the terminology of a game for which my passion is well known. Peter Rees was the great all-rounder. After suffering from Alzheimer's disease, Mr Reith died at the age of 72 earlier this month. The former Prime Minister said he was in good spirits, despite the severity of his illness. He retained his sense of humour. I have to say that the loss of the federal election by the coalition was still in my mind for some reason. And I remarked about it and I said, we've got quite a job ahead of us. And he said, you've got to be joking, he said. We have a huge task ahead. He retained that wonderful laid-back sense of humour. Mr Reith served in Parliament for 17 years after winning the 1982 by-election in the Victoria seat of Flinders before retiring as Defence Minister in 2001. He was remembered at his memorial for his dedication and thoroughness. He believed strongly that to be an effective politician, you had to be across the detail. And that attention to the facts was a feature of his regular appearances as a commentator on Sky News, where he joined former Queensland Labor Premier Peter Beattie to co-anchor a weekly program. Adam Walters, Sky News.